Well, hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this morning, uh, Mrs. Uh, Rathbone and I were wandering around town and we happened to pop into Debenhams uh, where she had a look at a few things and I happened to find the Wallet Ninja. Uh, there's a picture of it. Uh, and they wanted £10 for it. And I thought, okay then. Anyway, within a few moments, we were in our cheapy shop just a little bit further away from it, there's a little cheapy shop, they sell stuff for around about a pound in there. And I found this. The Wallet Commando. Looks very similar as you can see. Just uh, here. See it looks very similar, there are a few differences to it. But this one cost me a pound. Yep, one pound. Uh, so I thought to myself, hmm. Might be worth grabbing one of those because uh, you know I can give it a thorough testing as I do in my workshop, and we can find out if it's any good or not. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do first off, though. We'll get into it, uh, and to do that, I'm going to use my brand spanking new San Renmu 6020. Might just run a little, hopefully, slice down the edge here. So it's quite a good material, this plastic. It's uh, wrapped in. It's taking some cutting. I know that much. And we'll cut away from ourselves, guys. Has it cut through it? Yeah, right in, hopefully. We're getting into this, here we are. Right. Get it out of the packet, and there it is. Let's take a quick look at the packaging, shall we? Okay, so exactly the same as the uh, Wallet Ninja. This is an 18-in-1 multi-tool. Uh, easy to carry, it says here. Well, yeah, well, that's, easy. that's obvious. Uh, what we've got? Spanners, can opener, phone stand, screwdriver, peeler, and a bottle opener to mention, mention just a few. Here's a quick look at the other side. It's letter opener, box opener, screwdriver, times four, it says here. Two flatbed, fl flat head, cross head, eyeglass screwdriver, then we've got six spanners, a mobile phone stand for which you need a credit card by the looks of it. We have a can opener, a peeler, bottle opener, uh, we have a centimetre ruler and an inch ruler as well. So there's quite a few things going on on here guys. So here it is then guys. There's your metric ruler along here. We flip him over. It's more or less identical the other side. But you've got uh, imperial measure here. You've got little screwdrivers and spanners and all sorts of bits and pieces on it. Just, let's uh, take a look at a few dimensions, shall we? Right in, you're looking at 85 millimetres, 53 millimetres, and it's 1.1 millimetres thick. And the metric markings are quite accurate too. And what do we rock the scales at? 29 grams, one ounce. Uh, there is no mention uh, of the material it's made from, so we'll have to assume that it's some super duper stainless steel, guys. Cue the close up. As you can see, we have uh, screwdrivers at these corners here. If we move along a bit over here, we've got some more screwdrivers at each corner again. We have a box opener, letter opener, um, there's the uh, mobile phone stand part. Here we have some other spanners and a number two spanner at the end here. What have we got on the end? Uh, we've got a can opener, the peeler, which is obviously for fruit or whatever you want to peel. Uh, and we have a bottle opener too. I wonder if that would be any good. On the other side, more or less the same thing. Apart from we've got a you know, metric ruler at the top here. There's no mention of what these two holes are here for. So the obvious question then, is it as good as the Wallet Ninja for £10? Are you wasting your money on the Wallet Ninja? Uh, well, it's not that easy to bend, guys. It's fairly um, stiff. Can't bend it very easily, which is quite good. Um, this, this is supposed to be for your eyeglasses here, so uh, I'll just grab some eyeglasses and we'll give it a go. Right, so here's the little screw on the hinge of my uh, glasses, my reading glasses here. Uh, I wonder if it'll fit in there. It looks a bit on the wide side to me. Let's give it a go. I haven't got any glasses on while I'm doing this, guys, so um, anything could happen. And 
what's not happening is it fitting in the screw head to be honest with you it's too wide all right let's see if we can get a close for that then shall we here comes the wallet commando and as you can see far too big to go in the slot now I could very easily get around that by taking a file to it but uh, you know that's not quite the point guys now let's just suppose for a moment we wish, wish to open this uh, letter and see what the contents are all about it has uh, been slightly sharpened just here and I think you can see that okay then back to the letter let's give it a go oh yes it likes opening envelopes then guys right then, let's give the a box opener a go then uh, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do this but I'd imagine it's this curved bit that the uh, is the box opener got this bit of cardboard here so I don't know let's have let's give it a go see what we can do um, not that way it's not really uh, cutting I suppose actually it's meant just to cut the uh, tape to be honest with you so it's not cutting the um well, yeah it doesn't like cutting cardboard anyway and to be fair I think it's only just to uh, chop through the uh, packaging tape that you use the brown stuff or the seller tape like this stuff here so let's give it a go I don't know how you're supposed to get it in there and do it but uh, stick it in oh yeah so it does open packages in guys is it any good at measuring things so look well uh, this is near enough 16 millimeters wide so yes it's good at measuring stuff then I don't happen to have a bottle to open tonight uh, but as you can see it fits onto a cap quite nicely so I don't see why it shouldn't oik one off quite well okay so let's try out the uh, mobile phone stand insert card it says here so we'll insert <coughs> very appropriately Mazuma pop him in there right then uh, hmm let's try my uh, very latest high-tech mobile phone here guys look at this state of the art then oh oh that's not so good then maybe not then interestingly enough I also got this in the same uh, cheapo shop cost me a pound as well how does this work with phones oh yeah look at that a lot better so what about the rest of the tools then um, I think we ought to uh, whip this little fella down to the workshop and we'll give it a thorough working out let's go guys okay guys so here we are <coughs> back in the workshop again and is it so bloody freezing cold out here I've got this extra frothy cappuccino going nice mm. ah, yummy all right then so I haven't got many uh, nuts that will actually fit these uh, spanners so we'll just have to make do with these three here guys and we'll start with a little small one right let's start with the uh, number two just about fits on there I think tighten him down are we there yes right tighten him up a bit obviously not going to get too much talk going on here but uh, it's just about done it there we go <laughs> loosed him off hopefully or is it going to slip off so either going to loosen him off or slip off one of the two I don't think this is uh, the exact size for this nut to be honest with you but there we go we got him off moving on to the number six and that's nice and loose just tighten it down a bit uh, number six goes on there quite nicely and they do as you can see actually slip off they're not really deep enough to be honest with you guys <clears throat> you try to get too much torque on them and they uh, 
The spanner actually wants to slip off. As you can probably see there, slipping off. Have we tightened it? A uh, little bit, not a lot. Obviously you're not going to be servicing your car with this little fellow then, anytime soon. And we'll give the uh, number 10 spanner a go on this uh, larger nut here. I think it's M5 actually this one. We'll pop him on there and do some, or well, at least try to do some serious tightening. No G. Alright, there we go. Again, slipping off all over the place. Hopefully you can see it slipping off there. See? It's relatively tight. Can we get it undone though? Just about. Okay, so while we're out here guys, I'm going to use this uh, handy little file just to modify the uh, spectacles screwdriver a little bit, hopefully. Flip him over. Right, let's take a look at what we've achieved. Oh yes, that looks a bit better. Can we get that in focus? So can we actually uh, turn a screw with it now? Because it wouldn't do it before, if you remember guys, it was too big. Let's give it a go. There we go, we can do it now. It's not so easy through the viewfinder of the camera, but... Done. Can open a time? Will it do it? Um, oh yeah. It is, it's actually opening a can, guys. If we can get it right. There we go. So we'll open cans then. Now then, let's see if we can get this screw out with one of the screwdrivers, shall we? Um, it's not going to happen with that one, I don't think. This one's going to be too big. We'll try the corner. Nope. Try the spectacles one. Nope. Final corner, let's try this one here. Oh yeah, we've done it with this one. We've actually done it with the final, the last one, look guys. The screw is coming out. Hmm. And of course the test wouldn't be complete without me trying to uh, screw some screws into this chunk of wood so uh, let's give it a go and we'll start with this uh, rather long Phillips here make a hole in the wood about there I think will be good <coughs> move that one out of the way for a moment or two pop him in I think I'm not sure I think maybe this one's probably the uh, Phillips that won't fit in it at, at all that's not going to do the work, so we'll try this one here then. It's kind of working it. Yep, it's going in quite nicely. Very easily actually. Time to give this little slot headed screw a go. So, move stuff out of the way, make a hole just there. it in. We'll use this little fellow here, look. Oops, gonna have to support it. He's going in there. In fact, to be honest, I think you could actually use the, uh, the whole edge of the thing. Put screws in, look. So you could probably put quite a large screw in like this. So it makes it a lot easier actually. It gives me all wrist again. Hmm, I'll tell you what. Let's give this proper man size screw a go, shall we? Make a hole. Oops, fell off. Pop him in.
we'll find a fairly meaty chunk of the uh, wallet commando and give it a go. Fits in there a treat. It's not very comfortable to hold. I've got some stuff digging into my hand just here. But as you can see, it's uh, putting this large screw in quite nicely, guys. There it goes. So maybe you can do some bigger screws than you might think. Alrighty then. So the uh, Wallet Commando didn't do too bad out here in the workshop then. Um, these little spanners are not really up to a great deal to be honest with you and as I said before you're not likely to be servicing your car with them anytime soon. Uh, I think what it is is the little arms are a bit too thin just here and they, there's some flexing going on. But other than that the screwdrivers are fine, we didn't do any damage to the screwdriver tips either. So I think what we'll do is we'll get it all back up to the uh, nice warm studio. Okay so that was the uh, wallet commando in the workshop. Didn't do too bad at all. No damage uh, done to any of the tools and that. Uh, the only thing was these um, spanners aren't really up to much. They tend to flex, I think, when you're trying to use them. They could have been a bit deeper. Or, better still, we could have had little um, holes, you know, little uh, spanners in here would have been better, probably. So, <clears throat> is it worth spending £10 on the Wallet Ninja from Debenhams? Make your own mind up, guys. Um, this one seems to have done quite good. I had to modify the tip of this screwdriver here to actually work with a pair of glasses, but never mind. It'd be interesting to see how it would fare against something like this uh, PRT here. This is a whole bunch better quality, this thing. As you can see, I've picked up a whole bunch of uh, similar items for review, and I shall no doubt get round to these at some time in the near future. Okay then guys, so you'll have to make your own mind up as, as to whether you want to purchase one of these from your local cheapy shop or you want to spend £10 on the uh, Wallet Ninja from Debenhams. I mean, the choice is yours guys. Um, if any of you have actually got the experience of using a Pocket Ninja, the proper genuine article, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll try and get back to you. I am quite busy, but I will try and get back to you. It will be interesting to see how you get on with a genuine article. Um, as you see, I didn't do too bad with this. Let me test. It's not too bad at all, really, for a pound. One pound. All right, and guys, uh, you can see what I'm getting up to on Instagram. That's where I post pictures of all the new kit as I get it in through the front door, or I have to go and collect it from my local uh, PDO. Uh, there's also my Patreon page too, if you'd like to support the channel in that way. A really good way of supporting my channel is by using my special Gearbest link that you will find in the uh, descriptive text below. Click on that link, go along, check out Gearbest, purchase anything you like and I will get a small commission from that sale. Uh, and I use that to uh, buy more interesting kit for you to look at. Uh, more expensive kit than that, than this that is. Alright then guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. I do hope you'll return shortly and I will catch you again later. Bye! I don't have... To, uh, I don't... Rough.